you know, here, oh, here Carlos' picture, you know, at a very stage in his life. So do you want to take a seat, Mama? Sure. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's mostly going to be you talking. About what? About what it's been like to have a child with autism. Yeah. Hey, everybody. This is my mom, and I'm going to be interviewing her today because um, my little brother and her son has autism, so I just wanted to get her thoughts on camera today. So I wanted to say thank you, Mama, for, for being on Speak Real. Um, begin anytime. Yeah. It's for you. <laughs> it's very hard. It's very hard. But also it's a blessing. Honestly, mm -hmm. it's a blessing. It's a learning experience. And uh, every day it's um, it's adventure. Well, by the way, he's 16 years 16, old. Yeah. And uh, he has been diagnosed with autism since he was like three and a half. When he was born, he actually was a really happy, really happy child. He's really active and talking and very happy. And then I think it's around two, two and a half, he just almost went mute. Like he become, became very, very quiet and uh, spaced out a lot. He was just like literally spacing out. And I was like wondering, why? And then I talked to the pediatrician and she said, well, everything's fine, you know, he's a boy. So that, that's all the pediatrician said, everything's fine. And I, and, but I, but the only thing I kind of really concerned is he was not talking. When he started preschool, he kind of getting issues with the other kids because he's not talking to people. He's just screaming and uh, literally there's no verbal and any words from his mouth at all. He just scream every if anything um he's not happy with it he would just scream and then so the school said well that's not normal let's find out what's going on and then the diagnosis was autism but he he did start to talk like four a little bit after four he started getting communications with other people but still his tantrum it's really really hard he would scream for like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, non-stop. It just like, you cannot stop him. He just like, he has to finish that screaming for 30, 40 minutes. Yeah, it's, uh, it's difficult. But now, you, you know, when I think it back, it's, it's very hard that you deal a child that cannot stop screaming and there's nothing you can do and uh, it's it's hard and uh, I just you know very grateful that he's getting bigger now and he's he's getting much much better now I mean compared when he was young that uh, he still has you know tantrum or but not there's no screaming or yelling like when he did mm -hmm. before anymore mm -hmm. and you are able to communicate with him a lot more better now mm -hmm. you know he got a lot of therapies and he got speech therapies and social skills and then we got into the diet gluten-free you know almost like mm -hmm. anything you name it we we yeah. tried it i mean if anyone would tell me like 10 10 years ago that he would be this good mm -hmm. when he's 16 i, w I wouldn't believe it but he is who he is and your child is who he is and uh, or who she is just accept them who they are and uh, love them they have feelings and they they have love and give them love give them understanding the, my message I want to tell people is don't give up and uh, things will get better just have patience hanging there and things will get better Thank you. Thank you, Mama. Bye. I am really, really grateful that my mother was willing to be on Speak Real, that she let her son interview her. So thank you, Mama, first and foremost. This project is incredibly important to me. I want for the families of those with special needs to know that it's okay, like that everything's gonna be okay. And I wanna give them 
reassurance through seeing families and those providing testimony and interviews and talking about what their experience is like so someone can watch it and say hey I can relate to that and now I don't feel so frustrated or so confused or so lonely because there's so much unsaid pain if you're a parent or you're a brother or you're a sister or a friend or you know a teacher mentor anything of someone you know of, of a child with special needs or a person with special needs it's really tough you know so I, I want to give that to people so please please share this video subscribe talk to your friends about it tell people about it I want for people to see this check out some of the past episodes this is speak real so speak real be honest thank you and I love you Oh yeah.